Time now to talk about Instagram. Last year, Britain's Royal Society for Public Health rated Instagram the number one worst social media network for mental health and well-being. <laughs> Congratulations, Instagram! Good stuff, Insta. Don't worry, Facebook, you'll get there next year. <laughs> Today, Instagram has responded by announcing the creation of their well-being team, whose entire focus is to make Instagram a safer place where people feel good. Here to explain more about the decision is well-being team leader and Instagram influencer Greta Lee Jackson. Well, hi there, at Tom C. Ballard. Hashtag tonightly, hashtag clean eating. <laughs> You can just call me Tom, it's fine. So Instagram, you know, has now been associated with depression, anxiety, negative images about, uh, you know, people's bodies and stuff. This is not a good look. Well, Tom, here at Instagram, we believe that anything's a good look with the right filter. Oh, and our God. wellbeing program deals with depression and anxiety in, an, in a safe way by making it look hot AF on Insta. <laughs> what? Surely the best way to deal with mental health problems that are attributed to Instagram is by people deleting Instagram. No! Whoa! Oh, no. No, uh, we, don't, we don't want you to stop using the gram. I'll be that would be totes cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> what we want you to do is instead of only posting pictures of the best moments, post pictures of the worst moments, but make them look the best. <laughs> Hashtag depress to impress. Depress to impress? <laughs> That's awful. That sounds like you're exploiting people's poor mental health. Uh, don't be a hater. I do it all the time. <laughs> you don't look very sad. I'm actually horribly depressed. Really? Yeah. I've been wearing the same hashtag outfit of the day for the past week. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's that? What's going on? What just happened? This just happened. Oh my god! <laughs> See, <laughs> quick. That's called an angstagram, and it's part of our new well-being initiative. <laughs> now we've also created a bunch of new hashtags you can use to really get your sadness trending, like. Hashtag panic attack Wednesday. Oh. Hashtag sad babes of Instagram. <laughs> and my favourite, hashtag follow for a wallow. A wallow? Like wallowing in your depression? Yes, Queen, Ugh. now you get it. Hashtag trend it all before you end it all. What? That's a terrible hashtag. <laughs> now, Tom, let me show you how to get your angst Insta worthy. I don't want to know. Uh, well, sometimes, Tom, we have to push on, even though we don't want to, because people are following us and they have expectations! Oh, God, OK, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God, so random. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a picture of someone with a boyfriend holding hands with them, which would normally make me pretty jealous, but not anymore, because here's my reality, and it's just as Insta-worthy, holding hands with <laughs> my remote. See, your gram can be lit AF while you're feeling shit AF at the same time. <laughs> AKA simultaneous. Stop making that annoying sound. No, Queen. Okay, listen, here's one for you, Tom. So you like coffee and have a laptop, right? Yes, yes. So I bet you wish that your workspace looked as productive and glamorous as this person's Insta, right? No, that looks very artificial to me. Well, Tom, you can't spell artificial without art. And I took the liberty of to rearrange the horrible reality of your pathetic desk into a stylish flat lay. What? <laughs> Did you get those out of the bin? Uh, no, we're just sitting on your desk. It reminds me about the way I live. Hashtag PTSD Flashback Friday. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop doing hashtags, Greta. I can't get on board with this, OK? You can't just put a nice, pretty filter on something and say that you're fixing the problem. Well, Tom, you literally do jokes about the news. Hashtag defund the ABC. Why do we have that hashtag there? <laughs> Greta Lee Jackson, everybody.